going to the spa is nice, but it probably doesn't happen very often. So today we say forget the spa. Create that luxurious, relaxed feeling at home in your own bathroom. Here to show us how, designer Karen Seeley. <laughs> I love this. Isn't this great? Why not create that beautiful oasis at home? Now, this is a gorgeous example of spa bathroom, but it's two sort of different styles, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, because I think traditionally we think of this as spa bathroom. We think watercolors, we think glamorous, yes. ensuite bathrooms. And so we've done a beautiful example of that here. But in some homes, you might share a big bathroom with your family. Yeah. So why not do a beautiful family bathroom as well? So I'm going to show you two looks today. Okay. So that I can show you that spa isn't really about just glamorous. Spa is about having the things you need, the things you love, you know, the things that make you feel good at your fingertips. So it's, I call beautiful functionality. Yes, yeah, so yeah. everything is very pretty, but everything's getting done. Exactly. That you need. And you can hide some of those things that don't seem so great, and I'm gonna show you a little surprises along the way. Okay. So we're gonna start with this beautiful tub. So this one's from Victorian Albert. It's English cast, so it's actually very durable, scratch resistant, comes in multiple colors, 25 year warranty. But what I love about it is it's called a bateau style. Yeah. And so it's actually inspired by a boat, so the shape of a hull. And it's a very traditional look, but it's also done in this more modern twist. It is. That looks very contemporary. It looks sleek, and it looks like you can fit more than one person in there. Oh, can you? you're so observant. Yes. <laughs> so if you want to have a tub for two, that's exactly what you do. You put a faucet right here in the middle, so nobody has a faucet digging into yeah. their back. You can put this great tray here, so you can read a book or, more importantly, have a glass have of a glass. wine. <laughs> wine. That's the best little accessory when you're reading a book in the tub. I mean, you know, you start to get tired and you're thinking, I don't want it to get wet. That is a perfect little bench to have in the, in the middle. Yes, and I never Love know where to put my wine. That's right. <laughs> More importantly. And I always think that in a bathroom and in all your spaces, things you touch should feel great. Right. So why not add some area rugs in our bathroom. Yeah. You know, they're beautiful, they feel good underfoot, and if you're concerned about them getting wet, you can always throw a bath mat down, and then you can hang that up to dry in an mm -hmm. inconspicuous spot so you still have your beautiful area rug. See, that would be my concern, but you can always, if you've got the bath mat there and that beautiful nubby texture, exactly. you're being functional and you're being pretty at the same time. And it time. just feels cozy, so think yeah. about plush towels and the things you touch, and think about pretty to hide. So for example, you know, this is for your Q-tips. Yeah. And this is for your wine or your mouthwash. Your choice. That's true. <laughs> that is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? But then think about it, a necessary evil in the bathroom. Guys, you need the toilet paper. Don't be one of those bathrooms that people go to when there's no toilet paper. <laughs> so where do we put it? In Pretty. here. Yeah. Yes. That is gorgeous. And then even functional. more functional, someone's got to do the cleaning, guys. But it can be pretty. Look at how and pretty that handy, is. Because you don't have to hide this one because it's sculptural. That's right. And there's also another beautiful spot to hide your toilet paper. Oh, look at this. Gorgeous basket. And then you've but got all of your rolls in there. I mean, you're going to have to let your guests know where they are. Yes. <laughs> They're going to be searching through your cabinets. They'll figure it out because they'll be desperate. <laughs> right? Yes. They will figure it out. And you know what? If you want to go big drama in your space, you can actually do tubs in different colors. So I'm going to show you a picture of one oh, yes. with a beautiful black tub. And then in a situation like this, you could go classic. You could do black and white and then hints of color in your accessories. That's beautiful. So fantastic. And I think that's not really going to go out of style. Because no, some people say, I don't know about color, but a black and white is very classic. Also, lighting fixtures. So, lighting fixtures, I mean, I love to do layered lighting in any space. Yeah. So, beautiful chandeliers, everything on dimmers. So, make sure that you check to make sure, particularly with the new LEDs, that they're dimmable. And I've got more accessories to show you. Yeah, you think there's a lot here. She's got tons more. Let's go see them over here. completely decked out. We're going to yes. talk about all the accoutrements, oh. including a steam shower. So I know this doesn't look very impressive like this, yeah. but when it's plugged in and it's Wi-Fi enabled and Bluetooth enabled and you're playing your music and you're having a steam. So think about it. You had that big workout. You've just started working out again. You're lying in bed. You're thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to be so hard to get out of bed this morning. Right. It hurts. On your phone. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Start up your steam. Right. And Before so, you're even so get out of bed. It's super steamy and really hot and you hop in that steam shower. Yeah. So the important thing to remember is you have to tile every surface in your steam shower. And we're going to show you an example so you can see how luxurious it is. Okay. So you can actually be showering and steaming at the same time. Oh, so it doesn't take extra good. space. It's great for a small space, particularly if you don't have room for a tub. Right. Because it gives you that relaxation, the detox, a lot of the same things, the same relaxation that a tub would give you. That handles the whole thing. Handles the whole thing. And then wow. there's a little steam output. 
That's incredible. So it is fantastic. Then, you know, as you said, functional accessories. Event, so this drain is actually for your toilet paper. So oh, you, you know, this looks very lovely. hotel, right? Yeah. So this is a very modern hotel look. I think this one would be perfect in a powder room. Is that toilet paper? Room for an extra roll. That's cute. A place for people to sit their cell phones because let's be honest, <laughs> everybody's taking their cell phones to the bathroom. It's and happening. Then you hang a, a toilet paper here. But if you want something a little more luxurious, you can still do something like this that shows yeah. how pretty it can be. That's lovely. So it's lovely. still very clean and modern, but you get a little bit of that hint of glamour. Is there a rule about matching the hardware still, or do you mix and match? What do you do? You know what? You can mix and match. The important thing is repetition. So you can't just yeah. have one gold thing in the bathroom or one silver thing in the bathroom. Make sure that it makes sense that yeah. you didn't make a mistake. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about mirrors. So this mirror, if you need to add one, is battery operated, so you don't have to hardwire, which is fantastic. Okay. This one, you can have actually have some uh, jewelry here. This is a great for a small space. This is actually a bench that folds up and folds down for in your shower. That's a shower chair. That's a ch shower bench. So a when you're shower in that, bench, a shower seat. So when you're in the steam shower, yeah, you have a spot to sit down. You can take a load off. What do you think this is for? Is that a lighting <laughs> fixture? Is it a sconce? Is, this sits on the side of your tub so that you can have a place to put that champagne bottle or that wine bottle. Oh. Never mind the glass of wine. <laughs> I got a bottle for I you. I got a bottle in there. <laughs> this is awesome. And then we were talking about lighting. So there's so many choices. So something like this, this particular fixture, yeah. actually has 300 uh, amp bulbs. So you have lots of light, but yeah. there's no metal. So it just clean up on the ceiling, does its job, mm -hmm. and then you can have beautiful sconces, for example, paired with this. Lovely. And speaking of beautiful sconces, you might do something like this. See, so these are very contemporary. Very I like that. contemporary, very modern. You can run them this way or this way. But nice. And they just are nice and clean. Yeah. And give you light all around. And again, lots of wattage. And these are LED. Oh, good. So very envir environmentally friendly. Speaking of LED, the great thing about LED is that we can actually do that. things that are much slimmer. So if you kind of have an, a ceiling height issue, mm -hmm. then you can hang something like this. And look how tiny that is. Barely any depth at all. And given that it's all white, it just blends in with your ceiling. So it you're not totally accenting does. the fact that you have a low ceiling. Lovely. But if you have a little bit more space, you can play with some of these beautiful new gold medals. And you can see the textured glass here. Nice. It's just beautiful. So, and these are also coming back. For a while, these were like highly maligned. Yes. You know, the lighting fixtures that were just, that just stuck out like a little half dome, but they're back now and cleaner than they used to be. They are, and they're pretty, so they're we don't mind pretty. using them. And all the accessories I'm showing you today are from Wayfair. Very nice, okay. Um, also, you might want to have some music in the bathroom, yes. right? So let's talk about speakers. So this little speaker is um, from Blue Sound. It's tiny footprint. It's the Flex Pulse, and it can be be plugged in with battery. It could be hardwired. or sorry, plugged in uh, to the wall. Yeah. It's small, but it has the most advanced technology. So amplifiers, two uh, drivers. So it gives you really great sound. Yeah. In a tiny footprint. So if your family is anything like mine, and the meetings happen in the bathroom, you can have a party <laughs> in there, right? Yes. Surround sound. Well, and then because it is battery operated, you yeah. can actually take this and go to the backyard afterwards. That is awesome. It's